what's up everybody back at it with another video here today i got two fat packs of archives 2020 and a stack of singles from ebay so let's start off with these singles i always say i'm a big red sox guy but for some reason this entire stack is all dodgers so let's run through them first we got we got four of these Gavin Lux. Oof, that glare is bad today. Uh, Gavin Lux T206. Um, rookie cards. Uh, the beauty about YouTube, watching all these videos, all your guys' videos, is I get to see all of these awesome, unique sets, like this Topps T206. The downfall is every time I see you guys open up something, I go to eBay and buy something. So... I forget who I was watching, but I was watching one of you guys open some T Tops T206. Can't say that for some reason. And um, decided I needed some Gavin Lux rookies. So these were all short money. Um, eventually, I'm going to get some nice little uh, tobacco card holders. But for now, they're in just top loaders and penny sleeves. But I love the look of these cards. Kind of unique. And uh, I'm hoping Gavin Lux is a big player. He seems to be getting a little playing time now, so interesting to see what he tallies up at the end of the year. Uh, we also got some of this, these uh, two of these tops, 2020 inserts. Um, just like the look of these cards. Um, I think it's the mantle, which is kind of the iconic card from this set. Um, but you know, just nice looking cards. Other pickup is this uh, Kershaw. I think this is 09 Heritage in the Chrome. Um, it's numbered. I like Kershaw. I know he gets a bad name for being kind of a bust in the playoffs, but I think he got robbed by the Astros. Um, but I'm I'm slowly starting to kind of PC Kershaw. So I like this. I picked it up. It was really cheap for a second year card in Chrome. I think it's a pretty solid a solid buy. The next little stack I got is Beltre. Uh, Beltre, I think, is a surefire Hall of Famer. Um, connection to the Red Sox. Loved him while he was here. Uh, I think he's just an underrated player who will definitely get in the Hall of Fame. And his rookie cards are affordable right now, so I picked up a few. All right. On to this Archives Baseball. I picked up a stack of these packs. Always been a fan of the Archives sets. I think they have a fun mix of old and new. And I like this year's. I like the 74. Because it reminds me of the Winfield set. Syndergaard. Keller. Jansen. Cool looking Willie Mays, Jorge, Jorge Alfaro, some nice JD Martinez, Jake Fraley rookie, Dylan Cease rookie, Tim, Lins Tim Lincecum, Al Kaline, oh, that's a nice Arenado numbered, silver. There's a Bichette and Guerrero. Kerry Wood. One of the best games ever pitched. Roberto Clemente. Trent Grisham. Marco Gonzalez. And Ketel Marte. Alright, some decent rookies in there. Nice Arenado. Uh, pretty good rookie stack in here. Obviously, searching for the Lou Bob, but would be happy with quite a few of the different rookie class. All right, let's see what we, what we got in this one. Contreras, Olsen, Cepeda, Wagner, Juan Gon, Baez. There's Bregman, Stroman, Hicks, 
Glacius. Nice Pete Alonso. Altuve. Not getting much love. What do we got here? Looks like Alvarez and Altuve. Got Bobby Bradley. Sheldon Noisy. Is that how you pronounce him? I always mess that one up. Bagwell. Willie Stargill. And Anthony Rizzo. So a few decent rookies there. Not the Lou Bob that I was hoping for. But can't complain. I like this 2020 set. Um, I have a, a small stack. So hopefully I'll open a few more packs. As always, thanks for watching, guys. Appreciate you guys. Thanks for the comments, the likes. Um, hopefully going to continue with one video a week. There's been so many great contests lately that I've been putting out a few more. And um, I'm seeing more contests come up. So I might, might be up to two two a week but definitely going to try to at least do one a week so thanks for watching appreciate you guys see you next time